Street Sense is a 16-year-old son of Street Cry, and he's the first bull out of the Dixieland band mare Bedazzle. He is a really important stallion here at Darley at John Abel. He is from the first crop of Street Cry, the legendary sire of mares like Winx and Zenyatta. And he was a champion two-year-old in Street Cry's first crop. He was a homebred for Mr. and Mrs. Taffel and trained by the legendary Carl Nafsker and ridden in all 16 of his starts by Calvin Burrell. Street Sense started his two-year-old season off quietly enough. He was second in his first start at Churchill Downs and then he broke his maiden at Arlington. He immediately jumped into Graded Stakes Company where he placed in both the Grade 3 Arlington Washington Futurity and the Grade 1 Breeders Futurity at Keeneland. Street Sense then went on to win the Grade 1 Breeders' Cup Juvenile at Churchill Downs, running a 108 buyer and winning by 10 lengths. And it's going to be Street Sense to win this one at distance. Street Sense could not have been more impressive. He rocks. He was named champion two year old at the end of the season and entered the next year as the early favorite for the Kentucky Derby. 2007 would be a historic year for Street Sense. He was part of the vintage crop of three-year-olds that included Hard Spun and Curlin any given Saturday in Rags to Riches. Street Sense confirmed his position as the leader of the three-year-old crop with a win in the Grade 3 Tampa Bay Derby and then an amazing win in the Kentucky Derby over Hard Spun and Curlin. Off and running in Derby number 133. Street Sense by two, Hard Spun racing in second, but it's all Street Sense drawing away. Late charge from I'm a wild and crazy guy, Street Sense and Calvin Burrell impressively in Derby 133. 2007 continued to be a history-making year for Street Sense. After winning the Grade 2 Jim Dandy at Saratoga, Street Sense won the all-important Grade 1 Travers Stakes. And at the top of the stretch it is Street Sense and Grasshopper. And they hook up here, coming into the final furlong. Grasshopper is a stubborn foe for the Derby winner. Street Sense is full up. They're still head-to-head -head with the lead. Even today, in 2020, Street Sense is the last horse to have achieved the historic Kentucky Derby Travers Double. And Street Sense prevails. Street Sense retired to Darley at John Abel for the breeding season in 2008. He was an immediately popular, well-received horse. He was obviously from the first crop of Street Cry, who was a very popular horse with his other runners in his first crop. And Street Sense was Breeder's first opportunity to breed to one of his sons. He was similar to his sire in some ways physically. Street Cry himself, very masculine, very strong horse. Street Sense, very masculine, but a lot leggier than his dad at 16.3, and a very correct version of his dad. A horse that the breeders could really get behind and imagine crossing with a lot of their mares. Street Sense is the sire of seven individual Northern Hemisphere grade one winners. Early in his career, he sired fillies like Aubie K, Callback, Street Fancy, Sweet Reason, and Godolphin's very own Wedding Toast. And in 2017, along came McKinsey, a horse trained by Bob Baffert, who has been a top-level horse over three seasons. He's won grade ones at two, three, and four, all on the dirt, a feat that hasn't been achieved since Lemon Drop Kid. 2019 became an even stronger year for Street Sense as his colts became more mainstream. Godolphin's homebred colt Maxfield won the grade one Breeders' View charity at Keeneland and he himself is an exciting horse for the three-year-old classics in 2020. Street Sense is known as a sire that gets a top-level dirt horse, but now, after the work that McKinsey and Maxfield have done on the racetrack, he's proven himself to be a top-class sire of dirt colts, and this is translated into the best buyers in the world purchasing them at the sales. Most recently, Street Sense yearlings have been bought by buyers like Bob Baffert, Spendthrift Farm, White Birch Farm, Steve Young, and Bridalwood Farm. 
Street Sense wrapped up 2019 in seventh place on the General Cyrus list with six individual graded stakes winners, including grade one winner Maxfield, who's a three-year-old in 2020. That combined with the fact that the world's best buyers have been buying Street Sense yearlings at the sales, and the fact that the world's best breeders have been breeding to Street Sense ensures that Street Sense has a future that's extremely bright.